Hello friends, welcome to Technique. This is Normal here, and in this video, we're going to talk about the Android 11 update for the OnePlus Nord. So after a long, long wait, finally the OnePlus Nord has got the Android 11 update. So it has been rolled out as an OTA update. In case you have not got it, you can also manually update it. Uh, uh, we have the uh, download link uh, available in the description of this video. So in case you want to manually download it, you can go ahead and update it. But this will be rolled out as an OT update in India and uh, elsewhere. Now, OnePlus Nord was launched last year, July 2020, and this came with uh, the Qualcomm Snapdragon 765G octa core processor. It had uh, uh, the Android 10 and uh, the Oxygen OS 10. Now we have the uh, latest version of Oxygen OS and also the Android 11 update. So we'll just uh, show you uh, what all features it comes with and uh, what all new features has been added with this uh, UI. So first going to settings, you can see the new UI. This is the uh, the new Oxygen OS 11 uh, UI. You can see that uh, the top portion and uh, everything looks uh, really nice here. Now let's go to the about phone. You can see uh, OnePlus Nord and uh, Android version is uh, Android 11 right now. And you can see the uh, Qualcomm Snapdragon 765G and uh, the, uh, the build number is uh, Oxygen OS 11 and uh, you can see all the versions here so let's just uh, uh, go here and you can see here security patch uh, is from jan 2021 so that's the android version so this has been rolled out and the update size is around 2.8 gigabyte in size so it will take some time to download if it is coming as an ota also it will take some time but uh, once you have uh, installed this uh, you will get the latest version now you can see that uh, uh, if you go to the display settings, uh, you can uh, see that uh, other options like ambient display. Uh, then uh, let's go here. You can see all the options. Uh, and uh, let's also see other options uh, like refresh rate. So you can see here refresh rate can be changed. These are these are like uh, settings which are already available. So we'll just go through all the options. Dark mode is included. You can uh, manually turn it on or uh, disable it. And you can also see that dark mode uh, for apps is also included here. Then let's go to the next option, the customization option. This is very important. Uh, first thing is the canvas. So this has been available here. Now you can see canvas can extract the subject outline from any photo to display it as an ambient display. So you can see here, if you select your own photo, it will detect it and it will extract as a can canvas. And this is uh, 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 made as an ambient display. Now these are useful if you are using your face uh, and uh, you can see these are the canvas so get started so we'll just uh, quickly show you something uh, uh, not this i uh, will just select some image so there you go i just selected this and you can see that uh, it's just previewing the canvas so this feature was added to uh, the OnePlus uh, 8 series as well uh, with the, the latest update now this comes to uh, so you can see here this is the canvas so very good so it actually depends upon uh, the type of photo you have and uh, the kind of uh, image you have that depends so this is how you can create uh, your canvas so this is one of the useful features then wallpaper uh, we already know the custom uh, the clock and uh, uh, the ambient display so you can see here default clock so this is one of the really useful one then you can see here lots of uh, clocks are there minimal uh, and then analog digital so this is one of my favorite ones actually uh, you can see this is the one then fingerprint animation so these are again not completely new these are available in previous versions also so you can see here a few uh, animations are included then horizon light uh, three or four options are there whenever you get a notification horizon light comes in system icons you can customize uh, again a few options are included here uh, then uh, you get uh, oxygen icon pack uh, oxygen and hydrogen are available by default you can also install from the uh, play store then font size uh, oneplus sans is the font by default you can go with uh, the uh, robot of font as well so these are the customization options uh, included here so you can see here these are the customization options then uh, let's go to the buttons and gestures so uh, navigational bar gestures so we'll just uh, see the navigational bar gestures so you can see here this is the back button and uh, let's just go here again then uh, this is how you can uh, go to the home page swipe and uh, uh, bring it to the center we have the multitasking option so these are the options uh, in terms of uh, navigational gestures so you can also switch uh, between apps here so there you go you can see that you can switch between apps uh, using just uh, the swipe gestures so these are some useful options here 
then uh, we have the option to hide the bottom bar then you can go with the, the regular options as well then uh, you also have a uh, cube gestures you can see his uh, draw some gestures three finger screenshots all those things are kind of uh, available previously as well then uh, you get uh, these uh, battery options uh, privacy and uh, other options uh, uh, then uh, utilities you get the work life balance this is something new you can see a notification that can be distracting so you can set uh, the work apps and uh, your uh, life apps that means work apps will be separated from your uh, life app that means uh, when you are uh, in the work mode you won't get uh, notifications from your uh, social apps or other apps so that's one uh, useful feature work work like uh, balance that has been added then app locker parallel apps uh, pocket mode all those things are uh, quite uh, uh, similar then uh, you get this uh, notification center uh, this is the new notification center you can uh, see that there is also dark mode you can just uh, switch off the dark mode so i just turn off the dark mode so there you go so now like, if you go to the settings uh, so there you go so i've just turned off the dark mode so these are the options available uh, in uh, the settings and overall it looks uh, really polished actually uh, we haven't seen any issues as such we just upgraded it so uh, it's early to come in whether there are any bugs or not so overall uh, the, uh, the, uh, the app uh, I mean the system looks uh, pretty fluid no issues we are facing as of now uh, it looks pretty good in terms of uh, the experience now we haven't seen any sort of lag or issues as of now then uh, if you go to the all apps you can see here uh, hidden apps are also there so these features are available previously as well so this is the new ui the oneplus uh, oxygen os 11 with android 11 so you can also see that in the photos app uh, you can also see uh, the collections and photos uh, and uh, these uh, categories are included so these are some things which have been uh, added so uh, that's the uh, oneplus uh, uh, Nord Oxygen OS 11 and Android 11 update. So uh, if you have the device, you will be getting the update pretty soon. It's around 2.8 gigabyte in size. Now, if you want to manually download it and install it, very very easy. Uh, we have the link in the description of this video. Just download that link. Uh, I mean, download that update. It's around 2.8 gigabyte in size. Just download it. If you are downloading from the uh, device, uh, you can just directly go ahead and download it. If you are uh, using a PC, you can uh, download it. And what you need to do is uh, just copy to the root folder. What now? Uh, last time when we did, many of us test what is a root folder. So root folder is just go to the file manager, and here we can see that uh, we'll just see the storage and uh, select the internal storage. So paste it in this folder. That means the internal storage folder. That is the root folder. So we have this uh, Nord update here. So we have also manually updated. So you can see a 2.8 uh, 4 gigabyte in size. So this is the folder just remember go to the file manager click on storage and select this internal storage and paste it here so that uh, it will detect it now what you need to do is just go to the settings once again and uh, about phone and then uh, select uh, uh, update in fact uh, this has been changed so uh, previously uh, okay system uh, and then system updates select this uh, gear icon local upgrade and you can see this uh, local upgrade just select this it will start the upgrade process and uh, uh, we have not lost any files it, it will not uh, remove any files existing files from your uh, system but it is always uh, good to take a backup uh, in case anything goes wrong so this is how you upgrade uh, with uh, the download package so hope this was useful and uh, overall uh, we feel uh, finally we have got the android 11 update for oneplus Nord. So that's it for this video. This is Durma signing off. Thanks for watching. Hope to see you in our next video. Have a great day.